Hello and welcome to this autoblocking.ai review, where I will reveal exactly how I'm using autoblocking.ai to create massive content at scale. Now for a long time we've known that Google rewards basically your topical authority. How comprehensively have you covered a subject? And for that reason there does seem to be a bias towards websites that have hundreds or even thousands of pages all around a similar topic. Now this is the key power of bulk AI tools like autoblocking.ai, where you can basically complete your niche as soon as you launch your website and do 500 to 1000 articles in one go. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I do therefore recommend basically using this as a testing ground where once you've actually got that content out there, you can start to see over time what actually starts ranking. As you know, it takes three to six months for content to start ranking and ultimately two to three years for it to peak in terms of its uh, benefits in Google. And so what I recommend is once you start getting initial traction, generally only 20% of your content is going to rank. So once you know what that is, you can then go in and actually improve and optimize that content and build some links to it. Building links still remains crucial, and that's why I run a link building agency to make sure high quality outreach based links can still provide great value to my clients and get my own projects off the ground and ranking for really competitive terms. But as a first step, I really do recommend autoblogging.ai as a good way just to complete your niche really early on. So in this video, I'll show you first of all how I do my keyword research and produce a list of topics. That then goes into autoblogging.ai. I'll show you how to use it, where I'll also show you basically what the output quality is like and how to upload that to your site, including if the auto post to WordPress function doesn't work for you. This is included in autoblogging.ai, but depending on your hosting, you can have issues with it. So I show you a step to actually get around that so that anyone can bulk upload contents to WordPress. This has allowed me to do websites with 500 to 1000 articles in no time at all. And I'll show you exactly how well they are performing and how well they are ranking after a few weeks in Google. And don't forget to click below where I've got some great bonuses for you, including access to autoblogging.ai and some of their great deals on credit plans. The reason I recommend autoblogging.ai is the balance between good quality output and usability, but also it's very low cost to actually implement. I've tested lots of bulk tools, including Koala, and actually autoblogging.ai ends up much cheaper. So that's why it's my chosen uh, tool, both for output quality and the great economy it provides. Now, before we begin, the number one issue people find with autoblogging.ai is the auto post to WordPress function doesn't work. Now it can be made to work, but it does require quite a bit of setup. It's normally an issue with your hosting. And at my scale with my, my number of sites, I just can't be dealing with that on each individual site. So originally I found a method of installing a Markdown importer plugin, which meant I could upload each text file individually. Still took a bit of time, but then autoblogging.ai brought out the export CSV function and that works perfectly. So all we do is search import CSV and I use the one by Smack Coders. Which is this one. So we install that before we get started. Now, some people worry about uploading too much content all at once rather than having a more natural cadence. At this stage, I'm not too worried just because I'm going for some mass impact, basically. But if you are worried about that, then I'd probably avoid using an indexing service as I teach here. Uh, so that Google can just naturally pick up those uh, pages over time. If you want to uh, uh, upload smaller batches over time, then you can. The other option is, I'd also say there must be a plugin out there that allows you to uh, basically constantly change the dates on your WordPress blogs. So you can upload 100 articles at once, not get them indexed, but also get WordPress to mix up the, the dates they were uploaded. So on that level, it's largely untraceable. But overall, I'm not too worried. So that's all sorted. So now we go to Ahrefs where we have our keyword list. Now, my team's already put together this keyword list. I'm actually using an expired domain. One of the big advantages of autoblogging.ai is it's allowing me to go through my huge inventory of both fresh investment domain names and powerful expired domain names that already have backlinks, which in the past just wasn't scalable. I went through a phase of basically buying a new expired domain every month. And obviously the return on the, the backlinks was fantastic in terms of the underlying value of that domain, thanks to Alex at ODYS. Uh, but at the same time, once you bought that domain name and invested, you've then actually got to scale it up with content. 
And the cost of content at the time meant it just wasn't feasible. So I was spreading myself too thin and I just had too many domains that I've just basically been sitting on. But now with autoblogging AI, I'm able to build these out no problem at all. So if you're using a fresh domain name, I'd highly encourage you to actually use Ahrefs' new feature of lowest DR. This is incredibly powerful. Some people just rely on the keyword difficulty metric in Ahrefs, uh, but most pros know that's not really that accurate. Uh, it's only a robotic metric, and basically it's looking at the backlinks of the top few pages and therefore assigning a difficulty based on that, which basically means you could have a DR80 domain that's ranking at number one that doesn't actually have any backlinks to the individual page and therefore says the difficulty is really low, when in reality you're not going to outrank a DR80 very easily. What this allows you to do, and what we've been doing instead for years, is going into the individual search results and finding what are the DRs of the domains already in there. Uh, so if there's 20s and 30s, even zeros, then you know that's low competition as opposed to all 70s and 80s if you're looking at best credit cards or something like that. So what this does is it now automates that. Now, I've not really heard too many people talking about this, so I suspect it's still unknown. So if you're working with a fresh domain name and you just want to get it off the ground, I'd actually suggest first starting off with extremely low competition content. Years ago, we used to talk about the things like the keyword golden ratio or uh, the avalanche technique, targeting ultra low, these different ways of finding ultra low competition topics. But if you really want to do if we go to, I suspect there aren't going to be any DR zeros in the top five in this list, but let's have a go for demonstration purposes. So if we've got 234 keywords, how many of these have a DR zero in the top five, meaning there is no competition unless they're using hidden PBNs. So we've got two uh, keywords there, uh, but they've got some volume. So I'd be happy with that. More realistically, I tend to go for 20 in the top 10, and there'll be far more of these. And there we go, 128. That's basically half our keyword list. So you can quite easily start scaling up a site uh, like this, and then once you've got that traffic and that traction, then you can go after the more competitive topics. But in this case, I'm using expired domain. It's a DR30, so I'm not bothered about that. And what I might do sometimes is put in the DR of my expired domain name and just go for the terms where I'm already in the same league. But in this case, I'm not bothered. Remember, we're talking about 40, 50 cents an article. So if we write an article and we don't rank for it, I'm really not concerned. So I've exported these into a keyword list. So we're going to take the first 100 copy those and now we go to auto blocking AI so you go to quick mode and then bulk generate we paste all our keywords in here if you've got any really long keywords make sure they haven't formed a new line because that'll then be treated as a separate keyword project name coffee one go on English US one disadvantage of autoblogging AI is it doesn't have all languages. Koala does. Um, I was looking at a Romanian project once, um, but Koala was looking better for that one. And then in terms of optimizations, uh, these are all fine. When I last tried God mode, it wasn't working in bulk. So we'll leave that for now. You can add an AI image if you want, but most of these are do not add. And most of these things are actually really beneficial. HTML formatting, FAQ schema, so I just leave those. So final check, keywords are all there. English, US, let's go. Now we get a GIF coming up like this. There's a whole range of them that come through and that will show you that this is actually working. But very importantly, especially if you're doing 100 articles, it will time out. Uh, this is probably going to take about 10, 20 minutes to go through. And uh, if it times out, do not worry. Uh, it's working away in the background on the cloud. So as it says here, uh, do not then try and repeat because you'll then just cost yourself credits. One of my team members made that mistake the other day. So for now, just leave it. You can go away and do something. I'll keep the tab open, but do something else in the background. And then after 10, 20 minutes, we go to the history tab and we'll get our finished articles there. And well, that works away in the background. I'll answer the big question you all have, which is, does this content actually work? Does it actually rank? And the answer is definitely yes, at least at this time. The content that autoblogging.ai produces is pretty much indistinguishable 
from human content. It's a beautifully comprehensive article. It's even got tables, HTML formatting, and the FAQ scheme at the bottom. So it really fully covers the, uh, the topic with multiple subheadings. So there's no reason it shouldn't rank. So in test cases, I've basically been bulk uploading these batches of content. And within two weeks, I'm getting really good rankings on fresh content within um, yeah, two to three weeks rather than the three to six months a new page generally normally takes. Don't forget, we've got a huge advantage here in terms of topical relevance and that Google can very quickly see we're comprehensively covering a topic. So if we just look at the 27th of June here, uh, which was yesterday, we've got some really big search terms, 3,500 searches a month, cost per click of $1.50, and I'm at position 10 for it. 2,700 a month, $1.15 per click, position 22. These are really good results. Now, this is an expired domain name. I have warmed it up a bit as well, but it's only a DR10. This is not like some DR7080 that I'm just smashing with content that's naturally going to rank anyway. This was really a surprise. And all this content, the mass content, has only been there for about a month now with subsequent batches uploaded over the last few weeks. So no problem generating huge amounts of traffic within a very short space of time. And this is why I'm finding at all these conferences where I'm talking about bulk AI, that everyone says they want to take advantage of it, they want to do some mass programmatic campaign. And these are quite top level people, but they're always holding back on the, does it actually work? What tool should I use? And yeah, aren't you going to get slapped? Uh, at this stage, at least, it's all working really, really well. And I'm very confident. I don't think this is going to get penalized. And even if it did, don't forget there's a chance to actually generate a significant amount of profits before that happens. It's a bit like people trying to time buying a house where they're always saying, oh, I think the market is going to collapse, so I'm not going to buy a house for another two years. When in reality, it's very difficult to actually predict these crashes. Same as getting into the stock market. You're better off acting now and doing all you can if there's a crash, then you'll deal with that at the time. But the overwhelming majority of the time, you're fine and you just keep growing. So in this case, I'm happy to just hit all these con these these websites with mass content, make the money while the sun shines, and then if there's a penalty down the line, well, we can deal with that. But for now, this is working really well. This is a very low low level in investment. Five hundred articles with autoblogging.ai costs a couple of hundred dollars. It's an absolute fraction of what I was spending on writers just a year ago. So I wouldn't necessarily use this on, if you've got a really big website that you've put a lot of time, money and effort into that's working really well for you, uh, I'd urge a bit of caution there. I wouldn't necessarily slam that with AI content, but in my case, I'm just going through my back catalog of expired domains, exact match domains, these investments I've just been sitting on and I'm just building those out. So if they blow up, all that happens is I've lost a couple of hundred dollars in AI content. So overall, the upside massively outweighs the downside there. Now let's see how autoblogging AI has gotten. I think we have a timeout. So that's to be expected, like I say. So now we just go to the history tab and you can just keep refreshing until those articles, those articles are already there. So we download the CSV and now we go to our CSV import it. And we go to browse. So I've selected my CSV file. One new items, posts, and title, article title, content, article content. Next, it asks about images. We don't have any images, so we're fine with that. Start import. And the same takes a few minutes. So now we have 100 posts already live on our site. So we can see those here. So to give you an idea of the content quality, let's have a look at Best Kona Coffee, classic affiliate style article. So we have introduction. History and origins. Presses are growing and harvesting, unique features and flavors. So you can see this is a lot of high quality content for 40, 50 cents. And then we have FAQ schema. 
Now, I also recommend using Yarp, yet another related post plugin. Uh, it is just a simple related post plugin, but it means you get these text rich uh, and very relevant uh, related links at the bottom. I recommend doing contextual internal links, um, but for purposes of scale, just while you're getting started, just install this as standard. So whenever I launch a site now, I have a standard pack of plugins uh, that goes live as soon as the site does, which includes yes, another related post plugin and the CSV importer. So if we put 500 articles on that site, then we can upload them easily with the CSV and we've got these relevant related posts at the bottom just to get started on that contextual relevance. So as the final step that I recommend is actually indexing. So for that, I use omegaindexer.com. And what I do is I go to the post tab in WordPress and I use the instant data scraper uh, Chrome extension. And I basically scrape my own website for all my final post links. So ignore the WP admin one, it's these ones that we want. So you can locate the next button like this. And then it will run through, scrape all those uh, pages. I can then add those to Omega Indexer and that makes sure Google actually discovers and acknowledges these pages and adds them to the index. But meanwhile, we've got another batch of content to do. So now we just go back to quick mode, bulk generate, go back to our original file. And we find where we left off. So I can now take this up to 200. So it's 100 articles at a time. Paste those in there. Copy to English US. We're good with these, generate articles. So again, I'll smash those through a mega indexer or a similar indexing service like Synbyte. And then we'll have about 250 pages of content. This is an expired domain. It also works on fresh domains, all ready to go, topically relevant. And you'll just see that traffic graph hockey stick within a few months. At that stage, you've got powerful affiliate site, great for banner ads, also good for setting links on, a real asset with very minimal investment. <laughs>